I'm doing a follow-up session for a client. Our previous session, we just kept between us. This one, we're sharing it with the public. So I'll give you a little background on the original goals here. To release any negative energy attachments, identify the source of physical anxiety. I've been feeling over the last several weeks, overcome my procrastination and become more aligned with my higher pur purpose. So we're going to continue um, working on those goals, but we're going to expand it out a little bit. So we're also going to be opening to the next level of my career, removing any blocks to my success. <sighs> All right. I'm going to relax now. Thank you so much for your open-mindedness to share. We can all learn something from everybody. Okay. I'm getting in the zone here. Okay. I'm just going to give you... I'm walking into your energy field just to give you an idea of what it looks like right now. Okay, just a second, because there's... I'm basically an insect, and I'm flying really, really fast, and I'm hitting a wall, like, splat. <laughs> so I just splatted against a wall, and it's actually a glass door, so I guess I wasn't looking where I was going. So there's just a lot of stress lodged in the face here and the throat. And I keep telling you, it's okay, it's okay. Um, hitting yourself against the wall here, this stuff happens, just shake it off, you're gonna be fine. It's like a, I'm like a coach or a pep talk, like, you could do it, you could do it. Like, I'm really uh, giving you a lot of positive vibes here. Now pick yourself up, dust yourself off, and keep going. But there's another version of a voice um, that... It just wants to acknowledge the event, okay? I relate to the part that wants to acknowledge the event. This is actually a very honest approach. This is just acknowledging the human experience. I had this experience, this is how it made me feel, sitting with the feelings. That's actually appropriate. Now getting lost in the feelings is something else. <laughs> so time is slowing down. So you're kind of um, doing like a ping pong match between Let's keep going. Dust yourself off. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. The other side is, I'm still not done yet. I'm still not done. I need to acknowledge the event. So it's kind of back and forth about it. And so when you're going to sit with the feelings of the event, you can't pull yourself out of it to just dust yourself off and keep moving forward because you're kind of um, living in two different realities of I'm moving forward, I'm not moving forward. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it's better to be uh, make a choice and then stay in the choice until you feel complete in the choice and then do the next choice. And the choice is I want to transmute my memories and my, my relationship with this event, with this experience. Okay. <sighs> Believe it or not, this is what I'm called to do next. I am called to create a secure space, so I create an orb, um, and I have the, the part of you that wants to continue to work through the event. I place all of this energy and this process into an orb, and I'm setting it over there, and now um, the part of you that wants to dust off and just keep moving forward is in another orb. So I'm going to go into that orb, and we're going to explore this other side, okay? Because you have to do both at the same time. So your energy field is also saying, but I have to do both at the same time. So we're going to make that happen then. <laughs> we have two separate spaces with secure timelines, and we're going to do both at the same time. Okay. The part of you that is dust yourself off, get back up, keep moving forward. Um, you look, it's a male persona. He has a very unusual face. 
Almost like his face is really long. Um, and kind of distorted looking. And he's kind of like a sh string bean. Um, but he's made out of the color orange. And he's kind of secretly telling me about how he can't stand that other part of you. Who's more of a feminine side. Um, she's always wanting to explore the event. She's always wanting to take the time. Like, um, we need to just keep moving. We need to just keep moving forward. Dust yourself off. Keep moving forward. So he's like secretly kind of gossiping um, about this. His feelings about her. I say, I, I see what's going on here. So we have, we have a divine masculine, divine feminine side that need to work on communication and working together. Because you can't go, even if you don't see eye to eye, um, that doesn't mean you have to stay strong in your stance, divine masculine. And that doesn't mean you have to stay strong in your stance, divine feminine. Um, you actually need to talk about this together. And then make a choice together. So now both of the orbs are starting to merge and we're back at the event. And the Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine sides of you are now having to face each other and make a choice so that they can move forward together. This is really going to help you a lot. It's being in the flow of yourself. Being in tune with the flow. And not separating yourself from the flow. <laughs> and creating multiple flows. <laughs> Let's see how they do. He's not saying anything. He's just looking at her and kind of making these faces like mm, like frustrated faces without saying anything. His toe is tapping, but he's not necessarily um, expressing frustration. He's not saying anything. He's holding a lot inside. And she's really talking with her hands a lot. So I just tap her on the shoulder and then tell her thank you for everything that she's sharing here. Let's give him a chance to say his side. Oh man, it comes out in a really overwhelming roar. Like he just blew all of this, like he's pent holding it inside. It just blew up out of his mouth. <laughs> and it came out in this like, this hurricane wind. But he feels a lot better. It was actually a lot of dust in there. And it was it was really dried up. It was sandy in there. So when it came out like this wind, all this dust and sand is coming out. And there's a weird weird flies coming out of his mouth as well. And I'm starting to see that he's not well. He's uh, kind of dried up and a bit ro rotting out on the inside. And he's trying to hold himself together. So... The part of you that wants to dust yourself off, he's made out of dust and keep moving forward is actually quite vulnerable and, and isn't going to be able to stand strong for much longer. Which in a way that, 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 uh, that needs to just collapse and let's start with something fresh and new. Because that is dusting yourself off properly. Um, it, it's just learning how to tr just acknowledge, I, I still feel triggered from that event. Okay, well, what's triggering you about it? Um, it's this feeling. You, you don't even have to put it into words. You could just sit with the feeling. Say it feels like this and then just let yourself cry about it. Even let yourself get mad about it in your own time, in your own room, in your own space where you can just vent this out for yourself. And then go through the next feeling that y y comes up. Um, a trigger that, that you just feel vulnerable about. I do this in my own life. I'll pick keywords like, um, you know, keywords that I, that would represent, um, details about my life. Okay. Um, and I explore if anything triggers me about these keywords and then I'll say to myself, okay, well, I feel triggered um, and this is what, what the feeling is, and this is what is making me angry, and I don't know what to do about it, you know, it could be something like this. So I'll just sit with the feeling that I don't know what to do about it at this time, and even that makes me angry. Until I just 
they say, okay, well, am I still triggered by this? Actually, I'm not. <laughs> okay, well, well, is there anything else when I say this keyword that triggers you? No, actually, I feel okay about it now. That's how you transmute your emotions properly. You don't, if you linger in them, you get carried away, get lost in them. In them. You have to keep it a little bit more um, productive and progressive. So you can do a little bit of the um, keep moving forward while you're also exploring the event at the same time by acknowledging the event, exploring what is triggering you about the event, sitting with those trigger points within your emotions and your thoughts and everything, expressing them out loud, and then asking yourself again, do you still feel triggered? Yes, I do. Okay, well, what's triggering you now? It's this other side of this. Um, keyword. This is, it's over here now. It's, it's, it's this other point. It's this, and so just keep going through all the little triggers until you say, well, are you triggered by anything else? And you say, no, actually, I've, I, I'm not for some reason. Okay, well, then, then we're fine now. Five hours later, the next day, two weeks from now, um, this may all boil up to the surface and you're going to have to go through this process again. Um, that's how you com you continue moving forward in life while you're also still um, transmuting your emotions about events that have happened in your life that have made a really big impact on you. And that made you feel like you were a fly going forward, full speed ahead, smack into a glass uh, door. <laughs> I I've had experiences like this. <laughs> That's, that's an event. That's a, that's a really, that's an event that will um, rattle your cage, you know. Let's see how everything is doing. Let's look at Divine Masculine here. I tell him, it, there's something that needs to, to transform. And I, and I, I, he's already kind of a dust pile at this point. And I'm kind of t telling the remnants of this energy just... Um, it's okay to be dust in the wind because this is we're going to start working with a new approach. Um, so you aren't losing anything. You're actually gaining the spirit um, of this essence um, with a new uh, sense of vitality. Okay. Um, and an emerging and a balancing between the divine feminine and divine masculine so they can be in one body working together now. Not working separately with two different approaches, but now working together. It's going to help you feel more together inside yourself. But this is a work in progress thing. Like I work, I'm, I'm working in progress with this, this all the time. Um, so I just let life happen. And if I notice life is triggering me, um, I take the time to just stop um, and explore what the triggers are and sit with the feelings about it, speak about it out loud, move to the next trigger, move to the next trigger. In 15 minutes, I can say, okay, am I still being triggered? No, actually, I feel fine. That's how I, I move through that. So this is this is how you continue to move forward while still working through memories, through difficult memories in your life, through confusing times. Um, and it can be years worth of this stuff. Okay, you know what's cool is everything is shifting here in your energy field. Oh, wow. It's like we did it. Okay, so... It's like we just crossed this off the list of success because we just we just accomplished something here. And I, I see the word success, number one, success, check. <laughs> so the first thing we looked at, we got through it. We learned what we needed to learn. We brought it into balance. So it's a success. Okay, cool. Now, what's the number two? <laughs> success? <laughs> check. <laughs> Let's see what happens next. Okay. I'm supposed to just simply kind of start from scratch. I want to relook here at opening to the next level of my career, removing any blocks to my success. That that is um, opening your energy field up so that you're not having a tug of war inside yourself. This is always being in forward motion while transmuting life at the same time and being in balance with it. Okay. So this is a health, this is healthy, energetic, um, balancing, which always attracts more success. <laughs> okay. But let's see what comes up next about this. Okay, it's not as uh, 3D world um, like 
it's more about the energy world and because I like to get down to the straightforward points but it comes back to energy um, the next thing I'm shown, it has to do with, it's kind of like the upper back side of your head and there's a big open kind of um, black energy space. And I don't, it, it says that it's a hole, like an actual hole, like I poked a hole in it kind of thing, but it says that it's a hole, like a black hole, but I, do, I say it isn't. It says that it is a void. It says that it is empty. And I say, you weren't. <laughs> this is this is bringing up emotion, okay? This is bringing up emotion of not being acknowledged, not being properly acknowledged at different diff there has to be something from your childhood here um, because I, okay, hold on. And it's lodged in the throat as well. And it's just, reserve, it's receiving the acknowledgement that you worked hard to receive. The acknowledgement you deserve, the acknowledgement that you worked hard to receive. Is that the right way to put it? It feels like the right way to say it right now. Because I feel there is something missing when it comes to, I see a bright shining star. Here's your gold star, but it's way more than that. It's working hard to earn it. And then when you work hard to earn it, then you really truly receive it. But then not receiving it. It doesn't make sense. It's like an empty void. How can you not receive the gold freaking star? You worked hard to actually earn the recognition. So how can you not get any recognition? Now it's this empty void. It's this hole. <laughs> it's this space here. So I'm this this is kind of like a pattern of um, a belief system. I I resonate with this one because I I come from, you know, you work hard, you you, you the hard work pays off. Like I've noticed in life that the hard work does not always pay off. <laughs> Sometimes you get taken advantage of because you're known as the hard worker. <laughs> so um, it, it's a complicated thing, but there's a programming related to this. And it feels like you worked hard to earn and the earning wasn't there. And that was, that, that doesn't, it just doesn't, that doesn't fit. It's like one plus something equals, you know, your reward. And, um, you, but you did the, you put the effort in, but then it's it, like the equation doesn't work. Like you're showing me this. I feel it. Like I understand this conversation. I, this is, you're really attached to this one, and it, it's really lodged in the third eye, in the head, throat, upper mind. Um, we're gonna, we might have to work through this. It might get a little bit um, hard, but it's workable. This is totally workable. So again, I'm gonna not define this as a hole or a void, because this is the recognition you never received. And the feeling that comes with not receiving the recognition that you work so hard to earn. So now we have an empty space. Which is the recognition that you haven't received. Which is it, which, which, that this, can you see why this would be majorly blocking, um, growth in a career? <laughs> this energy here. So the energy world does really affect our 3D human world. So I got to do something to reconcile this so you can glow um, and there's no holes, <laughs> no nothing going on here because you're complete and you're not working on earning that um, recognition anymore because you recognize yourself. And now that you can recognize yourself, others can recognize you too. It's almost like, there's something um, with the energy that is off that I'm working through and we're making amazing progress. Just talking about it is already making progress.
Okay. Um, you're saying, so what do I fill the hole with? This empty space with? You recognizing yourself. Can you recognize yourself? You put in the hard work. You give yourself the gold star. The reason you put in the hard work is because you have self-respect, respect for others, because it's your style. You're doing this out of love for yourself and out of love for what you stand for. When it comes to um, the gift of you, the gift of your creations, the gift of your ideas, the gift of your time and effort. You're the one that can go home and be proud of yourself. If nobody else acknowledges you, you can't now acknowledge yourself until someone gives you the credit you deserve. Trust me, I know what this feels like. However, we have to we have to fill it with you love yourself. You are rewarding yourself. You did this out of self-love and self-respect and you stand firm in what you believe is um, putting the, um, the energy in um, to create something or to provide something or to um, offer the world something that is worthwhile. It wasn't crappily thrown together. It actually has the element of your own spirit in it. Okay, there's another friction here. Um, it's kind of a male persona and he's annoying. <laughs> uh, I don't know if is this a real person in life, but he doesn't have a neck and his head um, is against his shoulders. But it almost feels like he... <laughs> he has a weird face. He's like, eh, like he's annoying. <laughs> he represents he's annoying. <laughs> so there he is. Okay. So he's annoying is coming over here. Uh! <laughs> I feel like I'm in like the the world of cubicles and I'm like, uh, he's annoying is coming over here. <laughs> Like, hide. I'm not here right now. I'm on the phone. Sorry, I can't talk right now. Phone. <laughs> I don't know if it's a real person or just something quirky in your energy field. So let's just, let's just let this happen here. Okay, he's annoying. Um, when you start to um, send the energy, um, circulate the energy back into yourself, he senses it. And he doesn't want that. He doesn't want you to feel whole and complete within yourself. He wants you to continue to put more energy into something that never becomes anything more. So you're always um, looking to receive, looking to receive recognition. So he owns you. He controls you and your well-being. Um, but he can't control you and your well-being when you circulate the energy back into yourself. And that makes him feel very small. And actually, um, it's like his insecurity shows, in my, in my opinion. Um, you actually make him look bad somehow. And he doesn't like that. He senses this, like he has a psychic sensitivity um, to you and how you're um, getting the job done and waiting to receive and, and recognition and something about him um, wants to hold you in a place of waiting to receive it. But you're just going to give it back to yourself and you don't have to work on trying to receive it anymore. That is you having personal power and saying, screw everybody else. I can just own it for myself. And then people start to respect you. It's so, we're all sniffing out energy patterns in each other. It's so weird. Um, we don't know people, but yet we sniff out weird energy and we be, have weird behaviors around people in different ways. Um, and some people who, this Mr. Annoying isn't um, a self-aware person, um, but he's a very insecure person. Um, and he senses without realizing it, and that causes him to have certain behaviors. Um, and so he wants to keep you in a place of trying to give, but then you're not giving back to yourself just the reward and recognition. 
I feel like as of right now, just with this assessment of things, um, your career um, is teaching you lessons in self-love. I don't know that you're meant to stay in this um, career. I feel like you're going to grow out of the lessons that this is providing you and be attracted to somewhere else, something else, okay? Just just let let that just process. Don't, you know, don't let that jump start like, oh, well, suddenly I'm I'm going to move jobs or whatever. Just just let it just receive it, just let it translate in its own way and be open to always keeping the door open <laughs> to all possibilities cuz potentially um moving up um, in, in this career may take place in a different company or may, um, take place in a way you didn't expect. So I just feel like, um, this message relates to your question about career, um, and what this is showing me, whether Mr. Annoying is an actual person or not. Um, it's telling me that your relationship with your career has to do with a lesson about, um, how to just be in gratitude of yourself and know what you stand for and why you're a hard worker. Um, but there's something about changing the energy to the empowerment of you just owning your own style and not needing recognition from anybody because you're just going to get that automatically by just owning up to your own style. You're not doing it for the recognition. You're doing it because you believe in it. That's going to give you an edge when it comes to um, getting a better job. Okay, I'm suddenly being shown a fish tank with fish. Um, it's a rectangular fish tank. It's a good sized one. It's super clean, like really, really clean. Um, the fish almost seems surreal, like not real fish, but it's a freshwater tank. Um, the goldfish kind of look like angelfish in a way, and they're glowing slightly, a uh, soft orange glow, but they're all different types of fish in here. I just keep looking at this one particular goldfish that looks like a a golden angelfish. Oh my gosh, it is so beautiful. And this golden angelfish has a message. Um, and its eyes are like always open. And it's like in staring. It's in the corner of the tank. And it, it seems to be making, I don't know if it's like blowing bubbles or blowing kisses or doing some kind of Morse code with, with the bubbles coming out of its mouth. Um, but it's sharing a message and it's really cute and it's really full of love. It just wants to give you a hug. It wants you to know how much this angelfish, um, golden angelfish loves you. Um, it's seemingly like it's a nobody, it's a nobody fish, um, you know, like, it, it's not like a pet, a, a cat, you know, or a dog. Like, they're super sociable animals. Fish are kind of in their own mindless fish world, but that's not the case here. This fish isn't, isn't mindless. It sees you, it appreciates you, it values you, and it silently does it um, behind the scenes um, in its own tank world. And it's trying to blow kisses to you, and it wants you to receive them because this fish loves you very, 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 very much. You have a hard time opening your heart to receiving this. And in a way, you know it, but you don't know how to receive it. Is this why it's hard for you to receive, the, like, you know, I'm going to work hard to receive the recognition? Maybe in a way you don't, you're saying you want it, um, but if you can't receive the love from this gold golden angelfish, then how are you going to receive the love from a job well done? This is where it comes back to the initial message about how to transmute, you know, how to move forward and work through this, the trigger switches that are going to happen all the time in life. That's just part of being human. Um, so that's how you transmute and work through your emotions. And you may have to do it every day. The same triggers will come back. That's okay until they just don't come back anymore because they don't need to. You transmuted it enough. You worked through it. Okay, let's just see here. I, we're going to have to be patient. And I'm just having you look at this fish. And just look at it and choose to say, I'm open to receiving this love. And then just start working from that point, okay? <sighs> You're kind of uncertain. You're kind of fidgety about it. Unsure about it. I'm just, just giving you time, okay? Just giving you time. 
I mean, you're just like, uh, mm. like you're in a chair just like looking at the fish, but you're just like, I don't know. You kind of don't want to linger at looking at this fish. Is this fish a part of you? Is this fish somebody in the real world? Is this fish a spirit guide? Could it be all three of these things? Could it represent three different truths? It's all about you receiving love, though. Um, I'm not going to let you move or fidget. I'm going to, I'm just holding you steady. And you're just going to look at this fish. That's it. <clears throat> okay, this is good. You're releasing some kind of really gross... It's like a black lobster come out of your throat and it's on a hook and it's quite painful that that's just coming out of your throat as you just look at this fish. If you don't know how to work on this, just look at it and then just be patient. Everything that comes out is part of the trigger switch. Um, then a lot of anger is coming out, but it's, it's old energy. Old, un, um, unresolved, not transmuted emotion. That is making it hard for you to let the love in. So it's just, it's a lot of um, painful, difficult stuff, particularly in the throat and the face. Um, but it's coming out. We're just going to let it go as it comes out. We're just going to let it go. And see what the next thing is. You're fighting me like your ego. So like, I don't need this. I don't need to put up with this. This is just continuation of resistance of just simply letting love in. Your goo is coming out your eyes. Like, it's just like a black goo. It, it's like, um, it's unresolved recognition. Like, it's like you deserved to be loved. And you didn't get that, that you didn't get enough love. Um, you didn't get enough warm, nurturing, sensitive, it's okay to be you, um, you are enough, love. Um, it's almost like you had to be it all. <laughs> um, and so there's there's just angry eyes. And, the, and it's like instead of crying, it's like the anger is coming out the eyes as like a black goo is just coming out. And it's just pushing out of your eyes. Just anger, because a part of your youth um, wanted a little bit more warmth. That's what it feels like. It feels like an inner child that just wants a just wants more recognition in a way. It's very exhausting. It, you're almost so exhausted you can't be angry, and a lot of this um, that's come out. <sighs> It's just clearing the way. There may be quite a lot more of this, but um, it, we're getting to a really good point of just um, being kind of worn out, which helps you to just let the love in. <sighs> okay, you're sitting really close now to this uh, fish tank, and you're just examining the fish more, actually letting the fish in with your eyes. <laughs> Kind of strange, but you are. You're allowing yourself to receive more of a relationship with this fish just simply with your eyes. And you're really wondering if you should be doing this or not. And maybe you're being stupid or ridiculous. But you never are so harsh as to say it like that, but it kind of is like that. You want to just stand up and walk away from this fish again, but I, I won't let you... We, let's, this is a trigger. This is a trigger that you got to continue to work through. And this fish is an excellent um, addition here. Because it's helping to release so much unresolved feeling. I tell you to say it is safe to look at this fish. It's safe to just whatever comes up and out because of this fish. Just let it come up and out may feel a little derailing, but you have the tips from the beginning of the session to know how to work with the triggers, okay? 
I don't know if this is a premonition or maybe you're going through something right now where you feel a little more triggered than usual, um, but these triggers are actually helping to release old energy. This may mean something in the very near future is going to help you to release some old stuff as well. And it could be like a fish that you just didn't choose to acknowledge, like a person maybe. And maybe it's okay to acknowledge this person. Just not, you don't even, it doesn't even seem like you have to talk to them. It's just let the awareness of them um, trigger you and then help, that trigger just helps to bring the stuff out, okay? I will say this is a lot um, of clearing for the third eye and the crown. There's a bit of a like a headache build up here, which is actually just because of all the release. All the shifting going on in here, everything that you're facing. It's a lot of clearing of old energy. It's You're almost to the point where you're okay looking at the fish. You just don't know what to do because you live to, in two different worlds. Like, you're not a fish and you don't live in a fish tank. You're actually a person and you have two legs and you breathe air. You don't breathe water. It's just two different... Um, um, you're coming from two different worlds. And it's okay to acknowledge that. But I show you yourself as a angel, a golden angel fish in the tank with this other golden angelfish. And um, seeing what it's like to live a little bit differently than you're used to. Just to switch it up. Just to turn things inside out. It's actually really refreshing. There might be something way more stifling about your life and routine. I know it, it can be stifling now with coronavirus and all the measures we're taking, we're a lot more indoors than usual. So we can all feel a little more stifled right now, but um, it feels like something in the constructs of your day-to-day -day life might be a little more stifling um, if you were to change it up, like switch it up. Maybe, I mean, maybe even consider moving um, or like going outside the box, like, at just doing something that you don't usually do, like add something to routine. It, it, it's it, this is a metaphor as well for if your routine is, you know what, I've got two legs, I breathe air. Um, I'm not a fish, I don't breathe water. What could you add into your life to give you the effect of being a fish that breathes water now um, and giving you a new experience? I see you as, a, as this golden angel fish having the time of your life you withholding yourself from having the time of your life because you want to say that I'm not a fish, I don't breathe water, don't you want to go there? But you, what, you're actually missing out on a great um, and very special gift that you would be giving to yourself when it comes to just personal growth um, and new experiences. That would be very enriching. So maybe, maybe this career, I mean, maybe where you're at is in a way a dead end. But it's not, it's never a dead end. It's literally the pathway to something totally new. Could be time for something brand new for you, you know? Again, the main thing is that the lesson is uh, learning how to circulate the love back into yourself. You don't need recognition from anybody else. It just be, um, just stand in your own shoes and just have pride in yourself because you have an awesome work ethic. Just, just bring the love back to yourself, okay? And be open-minded to, you know, the possibilities that you never even thought of. Like you can even say, higher self, can you reveal, reveal some possibilities I never even thought of? I'm choosing to be open-minded about this, so I expect to receive some awareness this week. You know, um, try something. You might get a weird flyer in the mail. Um, you might get a weird um, spam call about a free vacation or who knows? It could be just what you need to trigger an idea. Um, and all ideas are good ideas. <laughs> so um, just let the world um, trigger you, work through the triggers and keep your door open. Okay. And then keep circulating the love back into yourself. So thank you so much for exploring this session with me. Thank you for sharing. I really enjoyed connecting with you today. Um, if any of you are interested in exploring a psychic session with me, please visit me at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. 
I'm also at two other YouTube channels. If you're interested in checking me out, um, you can find me at my Abby Normal YouTube channel or Zodiac Energy Readings. I'm also on Patreon. Um, I'm doing live streaming out there. If you're interested in joining my Patreon community, you can do so by visiting patreon.com slash Abby Normals Wisdom Quest. All right. Thank you all again for watching and have a wonderful day.